Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our weekly tips on Tuesday. We're on the 14th hole at Meltham Golf Club. We're going to give you some tips on how to play this hole well and hopefully save you a few shots. So what are the keys to playing this hole well? Well, the first thing is to understand about that ditch, okay? And understand how far it is to that ditch and how far you hit the golf ball. So from the red tees, it's approximately 140 yards. From the yellow tees, about 160. And from the white tees, about 180. So the first thing to know, the first thing to decide is, am I trying to get over that ditch or am I playing short of that ditch? And it's important to know how far you hit the golf ball so you can make that decision. So if you're on the ladies tees and, and 130, 140 is about your driver distance, and a good driver is going to end up in that ditch, well, there's no point in hitting driver. Same for the guys on, on the 160 mark or the white tees on the 180 mark. So really understand, am I trying to go over or am I trying to lay short? And if I'm trying to lay short, make sure you lay short. Make sure you're a good 10, 15, 20 yards short. There's nothing more frustrating than hitting a perfect shot and it ending up in that ditch. Okay, so really commit to the shot, commit to the club that you're going to hit. Am I playing short or am I going over? And make sure you do that. Let's give it a go, see if we can uh, carry that ditch. Okay, so we're safely over the ditch. So a nice little pitch uphill to go. Let's see if we can go and uh, play those shots well. Okay, so let's say we slightly misjudged our layup. Let's say we got a little bit too close to that ditch. The ball just ran a bit further than we were expecting. And we're on this downslope. We got a little bit lucky, not going in the water, but we're on the downslope. One of the things, one of the, the, the mistakes I see a lot of golfers making is they look at the distance that they've got and they pick the club for that distance and they ignore the lie, they ignore the slope. What you've got to remember is when you're on such a severe downslope, that's going to take a lot of loft off your golf club. So if it's a seven iron distance, you know, your seven iron off this downslope is all of a sudden going to become like a three or a four iron. It's very hard to hit a three or a four iron. So again, you've got to understand, you've got to make that chain. So you think, okay, seven iron distance, I'm going to go all the way up to maybe a pitching wedge, because by the time I get back on that slope and I get into that position, my pitching wedge has become a seven iron. Okay, so make sure you take enough loft. Second thing to understand, we've got to get our weight and our body matching the slope. So we've got to get a lot of weight on that front foot, try and get ourselves perpendicular to that slope, okay? And the last thing is to move that ball back in your stance. Very easy, if you have it in your normal position, to hit that ground behind the ball, almost bounce up over the top of that ball. So as I say, weight on that left foot, lots of loft, put that ball back in the stance. Let's see if we can hit that shot off that down slope, get it onto the green. Okay, so you can see even with the pitching wedge, it's come off a lot lower than it would do normally. Again, a lot lower trajectory. We managed to get it on the green. Let's go up uh, near the green, see if we can get the hole. Okay, so one of the things on the 14th hole, sometimes we misjudge the uphill, misjudge the wind a little bit. We can come up in this bunker uh, and we're faced with quite a long bunker shot, 20, 30, or even in this case, a 40 yard shot. So there's a couple of key things we want to change from our normal shot. The first thing, go down in loft. So go down to your gap wedge or even your pitching wedge. Okay, don't reach your sand wedge. You know, you're going to need too big a swing to get that ball. The second thing is to understand you're still trying to play it like a bunker shot. You're not trying to catch it clean. You're not trying to sort of clip that ball off the top. You're still trying to play a normal bunker shot. And the third thing is just commit to that swing, commit to that nice full swing to get that ball out. Let's give it a go, see if we can get it somewhere near. Okay. So we've managed to get that ball chasing out, I said lower than a normal bunker trajectory, but give it a go. Something you've got to practice, use that pitching wedge, see if that helps you. Okay, so we found the 14th green, uh, and again, it's one of those greens uh, similar to, to a lot of the greens at Melton where it's built into the slope. So even though it looks like it's kind of built in that way, you've got to remember the entire bit of green, the entire land that you're on is, is falling that way down towards the right. So again, the putt is going to break, always going to break that way, whether you're coming this way or this way on the hole, it's always going to break that way. Uh, on this hole um, and then remembering that at the edges of these greens especially on the 14th this sort of back edge again it kind of runs away kind of goes away from you so it's a putt that's easy to get away from so again picking that line committing to that line reading the green well again there's a lot of natural undulations here so you can use you can get to, to green level you can get your eyes to green level have a good read commit to that read uh, and see if that helps you hold a few more putts
Thank you. I hope those tips have helped you play the 14th hole uh, well. Uh, as ever, leave any comments below uh, and we'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching. Uh, we hope you've been enjoying our weekly tips. Uh, to make sure that you don't miss out on any of them, please subscribe and follow us on our social in the links in the descriptions below. Thanks very much for watching.